Extreme flash flooding has killed at least eight people and destroyed hundreds of homes in eastern Kentucky. Torrential rain in the region was followed by the flooding, mudslides, and power outages there. Over the past three days, the area has seen about 10 inches of rain. And today, the governor of Kentucky declaring a state of emergency and activating the National Guard. We are currently experiencing one of the worst, most devastating flooding events in Kentucky's history. The situation is dynamic and ongoing. In most places, we are not seeing receding uh, water. In fact, in most places, it is not crested yet. And we know at this hour, many are still trapped in their homes as they wait for help. Others are still searching for loved ones. And Clay Nichols is in Neon, Kentucky, joining us live by phone tonight. Uh, Clay, can you hear us? I can. Hello, Natasha. Hi, Clay. We know how stressful the last 12 hours have been. Thank you so much for your time. First of all, are you safe and are you doing okay now? Yes, me and my wife are currently safe. Um, you know, it, it's, it's been a rough day. <laughs> to um, say the least. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Well, and can you walk uh, us through that experience um, today, just over the last 12 hours? What have you been seeing? Well, uh, you know, to sum it up, it's just complete devastation. Uh, it, it's like, you know, um, frankly, a, a nuclear bomb has gone off in eastern Kentucky is how it looks. Um, uh, we, we woke up this morning at, at 5 a.m., and we thought someone was pounding on the door, and it turns out that, you know, the mountain had, had slid off and uh, started pressing against their house. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, the knocking was boulders and rocks crashing down onto the side of the house. Um, trees have fell on top of the house. It's um, uh, absolutely terrible. Um, so, you know, me and my wife, we, we got out of there pretty quickly. Uh, we're very blessed to have family close by that we could actually walk to. Um, and that's when, you know, really the day began in terms of uh, trying to find their neighbors and, uh, you know, helping out in the rescue efforts. Oh, Clay, I can only imagine. Um, can you tell us about your journey trying to reach your grandpa, uh, getting him to safety? Well, the, the layout of where we live is up on a hill. And me and my wife, we took off um once it got daylight and we could not get off the hill there was uh probably six to eight feet of water um outside of the creek bank uh, just you know up to the rooftops of houses um so we you know could do nothing we were helpless at that point um and we had to wait until the water receded over the next four to five hours once the rain finally slowed down um, at, at that point, we still could not get a vehicle on the, the highway, so uh, me and my wife decided to go after him, um, you know, through the water. Uh, we, we both put on a life jacket, and uh, we walked about two and a half miles to find him. Um, the, the cell phone lines have been out all day until here in the last hour or so. There's, you know, no power. There's no water. Um, it, it's just complete disaster. Uh, thankfully, when, once we got to his house, he, he was safe, but, uh, you know, everything else, the house was just a total disaster. Um, he, he had one access point to the home, um, both of his back doors where the hillside was had probably four to five feet of rock and mud um, surrounding the home. I mean, we're looking uh, at images. We're seeing just how bad this is. During that journey, you know, to that perilous journey to try to find your grandpa, what were you thinking? Were you trying not to think about the worst? Were you concerned for his safety? Do you think there was a possibility he may not be okay? Absolutely. You, you know, that, the worst always crosses your mind, but uh, we were just praying and hoping that everything would be okay when we got there. Um, but yes, we we were terrified, and until the I guess around the last hour or so, we've finally gotten contact with all of our you know close family and relatives and friends, and thank yeah. God you know they're they're all okay, even though their homes are mostly destroyed. I know a lot of this won't hit you until later. What has kept you going over these last twelve hours? You know, in situations like this, you just got to think, if you've got your, your health and your life, everything else will fall into place. You know, material things come and go. 
But um, the fact that everybody's healthy, I can give thanks for that. Um, you know, uh, close to a foot of rainfall fell over a six to eight hour span this morning. It, it's a hundred year storm, you know. It, it, the chances of this happening were astronomically low. Um, in the town I am here in Neon, the the water levels were five to six feet higher than any documented uh, flooding event on record. Um, yeah. It's something that you, you can't prepare for. Absolutely. And, and Clay, it, can I ask you, we know you're a medical student, and this morning the clinic was underwater. Where do you yeah. go from here? Where does your community go from here? And And also, if I can tag one more question onto that, do you know the status of your house that you left this morning? It is, it's still up in the air. You know, there's probably 20 ton of dirt and rock pushing against it. Somehow the wall has not totally collapsed yet, which I'm expecting to happen at any time. Um, so we're, we're keeping a close eye on that. Uh, we've managed to get all of the, you know, things of somewhat value out of the home. Um, in terms of my education, you know, uh, uh, that will also come. The community will band together. Uh, but the thing is, in a situation like this, usually it happens to one or two people, you know. Mm -hmm. But today it's happened to everybody. So uh, I do think people will band together and we will get through this. Um, but uh, for the time being, everybody is going to have to try to figure out where they can go individually from here. Um, the, the clinic I'm in, to answer that question, had about four feet of water in it. Mm. Um, um, uh, it. It was just um, total devastation today. Clay Nichols, so, it sounds it. It sounds it. And it's one thing to look at these images, and it's another thing to hear about your experience today. Um, I'm certainly so glad that you're safe. I'm sorry I'm getting emotional. Um, Thank you. Just imagining what you've been through. We will keep spotlighting the situation. We know people are still trapped in their homes and searching for loved ones. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.